There's no reason to think it wouldn't have been liquid for billions of years. On Earth, we find liquid water, we find life. Welcome to a quick 12 minute power yoga flow for grounding your energy down. So starting at the top of our mat, feet together, so spread and relaxed, palms facing forward, shoulders relaxed down your spine, chin slightly tucked and eyes closed. Start to notice your breath. Just like the oceans that you hear in the background, turn your breath into a wave so that you're purifying yourself. When you're ready, inhale, arms to the sky, exhale, forward fold. A couple breaths. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're building energy all through our spine, right at the base. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands just so that you can get your footing, stepping our left foot back on the back toe, inhaling the arms high for crescent lunge. Grounding into your, your situation right here. Make sure you feel balanced and comfortable. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. And when you're ready, send your left hand forward and your right hand back so we have a nice open twist. Ringing out our digestive system, opening our heart. Inhale, rise your arms back both high overhead. When you're ready, with grace, take your time. Warrior three, open the arms out just like a pelican on the beach. Keep working on dropping your hips, lowering your hips down, especially your left hip if you're balancing on your right foot. And if you want, you have the option to lock the hands behind your back for mudra. Good. Keeping the hands locked if they're there, standing straight, mountain pose, open the heart. A couple big breaths right in the chest. Inhaling, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Setting our hands up. Now dropping our right toes back for crescent lunge. Palms facing the inside, facing each other so we can relax those shoulders down. Belly button drawn in towards your spine. And feeling your muscles work, that's okay. We're grounding down, sending energy throughout our whole system. On your next exhale, spin your left hand towards the back, right fingers towards the front for an open twist. Unfazed, calm determination in every pose that you're in today. Inhale, arms getting ready to go into airplane mode, warrior three on the left leg. Staying parallel to the floor. And if you'd like, you can interlace fingers behind your back and extend it to the ceiling, extend it to the sky. Take your time, come back to a standing position, hands stay in mudra, open your chest. A few big breaths, open your throat chakra. Good, inhale, arms to the sky, reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna heel toe our feet to the outside edges of the mat. I'm actually just gonna face you guys so you can see me better. But we're going to get situated in our yogi squat, our primal squat. So feet right outside the hips. We're going to create a wedge with our elbows in between our knees. And from there, just in a prayer position. If 
you'd like, you can use a block under your butt or a stack of books or even a chair. And if you'd like a little extra, we can work on spinning our chest to the sky, dropping our opposite shoulder towards the floor, just three times on each side. Inhaling up towards the sky, exhaling down. Good. Extending your hips high very slowly. We're heel toeing our feet even wider. Now you can actually go on the, the wide side of your map. And we're just gonna get a nice forward fold with the option to pick up pineapples behind us. So we're just walking our fingers back, getting a nice hamstring stretch and walking them back forward. Don't worry about how low you go. Listen to your body, I'm just a guide. taking your time we're going to start to bend the knees and get ready for goddess pose so in this goddess pose we're swaying side to side if you like very slowly very slowly or we could stay stationary either way whatever was working whatever feels good we just want to keep those knees open spine vertical relaxing your shoulders relaxing your face Yeah, go ahead and straighten the legs for a second. We're gonna situate the right toes to face the back end of your mat. Left back toes turn into a wedge. And we're in our warrior two, arms extending opposite of each other. Gaze right over the front middle fingers, belly button tucked in. And make sure that right knee in the front is out and it's not collapsing in. When you're ready with balance, Shifting into Warrior Three. Hey, I remember you. Warrior Three, airplane mode. With the option to mudra the back, right in the back. As you come out of your Warrior Three with grace, we're gonna get back wide and do a nice Spider-Man lunge. And back into our goddess. Quick marination here before we shift into our warrior two facing the front of our mat with our left toes forward. When you're ready, go ahead and shift your left toes forward. Back right edge of your foot is at a 45 degree. It looks like I'm getting swarmed by locusts here. It's just little beach creatures. <laughs> Pretend that someone has your right hand and your left hand and they're stretching in opposite ways, just like tug of war, and that's gonna help keep your arms nice and straight. When you're ready, take your time, warrior three. Now you can keep your arms in airplane mode or you can go in prayer mode. However, you can go arms forward in front of you, or again, you can mudra your, your hands behind you. But just wherever you are, feel the sensations and notice the differences in your upper body, your core, your shoulders, maybe even your balance. And when you're ready, Spider-Man lunge to the right. I'll meet you back in Goddess. Let's do that one more, one more time. We're gonna add something. Stay with me, we're still grounding. You're gonna come out even stronger, even more aligned than you came into this class. So warrior two, maybe a little deeper in that front leg if you got it. And I think you can at least do an inch, get a little bit lower. Couple more breaths. 
Next inhale, back hand goes to the back leg, front arm reaches up and over, expanding our side body for reverse warrior. And then shifting into our warrior three. Good work. It's a great way to get a full body, functional workout, functional mobility, low this is so, just one little thing yoga can provide when you're done with warrior three spider-man lunge to the left i'll meet you in goddess if you feel your legs talking to you that's a good sign you're pushing yourself when you're ready spinning towards the front with the warrior two Really ground those toes in. Really get some grip in the mat, in the floor, wherever you are. And stay tall with your spine. You are a king. You are a queen. This is where we act like it. We embrace it. When you're ready, inhale, reverse warrior. Transitioning into warrior three. If you're focused, nothing can distract you. And you're really locked into something that you want, into something that feels good, nothing can stop you. When you're ready, Spider-Man lunge to the right. Good. Just go ahead and wash those legs out. Spread the feet even wider if you'd like, just a nice forward fold. With the option to interlace opposite hand, opposite elbows and sway side to side. At any point, if anything's feeling uncomfortable, just know you can always go into child's pose. When you're ready, heel toe your feet together or jump your feet together, standing up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Facing the front of our mat again. Inhale, arms to the sky, ribs to the sky, heart to the sky. Exhale, cactus, big wide Sagora cactus. Inhale, tall, exhale, cactus. One more time, lots of energy. Here we go, reaching with everything we have all the way up. Exhale, expand your heart. Beautiful flow. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Yoga in the morning, feeling divine, flowing with the universe, one breath at a time. Uh, I stopped trying and I started flying. Grab the pen and I start rhyming. Seven.